What's up you guys? It's your girl Coco Barbs back at it again with another video and I'm so excited. If you are new, welcome to this channel. Make sure you're subscribing. Make sure you're tapping on that notification bell to be sure to keep up to date whenever I post a video. And follow me on all the social media platforms. I'm tagging all my names up above and below. Y'all, let's get into this look though. Sis, I'm bringing you fire, I'm bringing you heat, I'm bringing you this natural glam look that you can wear to the store, you can wear to your boyfriend's house, your girlfriend's house, your crush house that's been in a relationship for six months and you just found out but you still can't let him go. And I, <laughs> Listen, I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I'm not judging. But just know, I know the tea, okay? I know the tea. <laughs> Y'all, I'm chatting, I'm chatting. Without further ado, let's jump into this video. All right, queens, let's get started. I'm starting off with the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. I love it, it's very hydrating. I use it every day and night. Girl, it's a holy grail, okay? You must get this product, period. Now I'm using Maybelline's Master Prime Hydrate and Smoothing Primer. Patting that into my skin, which is very important for a nice, flawless makeup look. If you don't have primer, girl, please get some primer. It's very important. Okay, baby, let's talk about this foundation. I'm trying to get every one of my friends and family on this foundation. It is the NARS Radiant Foundation. I love this. Look at this skin-like finish. Okay, where are you getting that from? Where, sis, where? I'm patting that into my skin and it's making me feels so good inside it is an investment i'm not gonna lie to y'all it's about 50 dollars, but it's definitely worth it sis i'm fixing my eyebrows with the milani easy brow pencil in dark brown okay all right y'all i found this powder and i'm so excited to share it with y'all it's the translucent medium to deep powder by milani you can get this at walmart target is about seven or eight dollars very lightweight very affordable come on sis <laughs> it can't get no better than this period now for the eyes i'm using the morphe palette 34 5v 35v and the first shade is called heat and I'm mixing that shade with Wild Thing. So I'm using these two shades going back and forth to create that base color. And I'm patting that color onto my eyelid. And then smoothing it out. Or blending it out. Now I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in 390 as a base for my next color. We're not trying to cut the crease, we're just trying to lay a base on for the next color, which is called Go Nude. So these, this look is good for beginners since, you know, we don't really have to perfect the crease this, this time, not this time. Now I'm taking that brush and patting the product onto my eyelid, patting the shade onto my eyelid and then smoothing it out later. It's looking a little messy, but we're gonna clean it up. All right, using a darker color, which is in the zone, that's the name of the color of the shade. And I'm using that color to blend everything together, you know, clean everything up. <laughs> because everything needs to stay in its zone, period. Stay in your designated place, queen. Stay in your place, queen. And then I'm using heat as a transition color between go nude and in the zone. Just to smooth everything out. 
I did my eyeliner off camera and then I moved straight to the concealer back to the pro filter concealer by Fenty Beauty in 390 I like this color because it has a yellow undertone um, yellow orange undertone actually and I always let my concealer sit for a minute and a half before blending it out And I use my damp beauty blender to blend that out. I'm using the Master Conceal by Maybelline in the medium right now in that inner eye little area just to attract more light. We need more light there. I'm just using a little bit, y'all. I'm dark skinned, so I don't want no flashback. So I'm very graceful with this concealer because it's really light. So I'm going back in with that translucent powder, the medium to deep by Milani. Using this fluffy brush just to get the product onto my skin, fluff it off, fluff it away. And then I'm gonna use a denser brush to pat it into my skin. And these brushes are really no, no name brand just bought them at Walmart here and there they don't really have a name had these brushes for so long but I love them because it gets the job done so I'm taking that fluffy brush and getting the translucent banana powder by Milani and just putting it in that area where I put the lightest concealer by Maybelline. It wasn't really doing what I needed it to do so I took my beauty blender to pat more of that product in and that's I'm still working with the translucent banana powder. Okay, so what I like to do is just go straight into the powder when it comes to bronzing my skin. And I use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in dark. I always make a three on the side of my face when, yeah. Make that three, sis, when you're trying to contour your face or bronze your face in this case. Whatever you want to look smaller, if it's your forehead, if you wanna define your cheeks, sis, put it in those areas. I like to make a three. Do whatever is best for you because we're all queens in our own way, period. <laughs> so now I'm giving the nose structure. I'm giving it backbone. I'm giving it bronze, period, period. I always like to start from my eyebrow and then go down when, when it comes to contouring my nose. It just helps me with the umbre of my eyebrow. And just, I just like the look. Okay, it's coming together, it's coming together. Now, for my lips, I use a NYX pencil in dark brown. And I'm tagging that shade below as well. Outlining these voluptuous lips. My nose was running. Do, uh, does that ever happen to y'all for real? I hate it when that happens. I had to catch it before it came down. Listen, sis, you gotta do what you gotta do. So 
So I'm using two shades um, of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I'm tagging these two above and below. I'm going back and forth with this lighter palish pink and then a warmer peachish, nudish, pinkish. A lot of ishes. <laughs> Just, I'm just going back and forth until I get the desired look that I want. Then cleaning that liner up. I did my lashes off camera. Now I'm just applying mascara on the bottom lash line. Putting a little highlight. I'm using Shameless in that palette. And bam! There you have it, sis. Y'all, if y'all like this look, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And follow me. Follow me, sis. I got some more heat coming your way. Bye.